I've been here at Tao Chi Chuan for almost four and a half years. I'm from the United States. My name is Ryan Labar and I make a course on sculpture here. So every day I come in and, and start my studio practice and that's, I'm just going to kind of show you how I start my day. In the middle of my studio is this little gallery. This is where I could display some of the works that I've made. Uh, some test pieces and some older pieces. This is a wall piece that goes on the wall and then I have some of my pottery examples here. I decided to stay here because I felt incredibly safe. I felt safe here in my studio, here in Jingdezhen. And as the situation progressed, I realized that my decision was the right decision. And I was very impressed with how Jingdezhen and the local community really stepped up their response to the virus, where we had, we had passes to leave our apartment. We had, um, we had guards at every entrance and exit point to any public place where they check your temperature, register you on a WeChat application, and, um, and everyone was wearing face masks, and it seemed like a, a full-on 100% community effort defined by unity. And I was asked to do a, an article in the United States at that time about how I felt about being in Jingdezhen during this time. And I stated that I was, felt incredibly safe and that the methods and procedures that China was using was seen very effective. And to this day, I realize it was extremely effective. Despite what might be said on other sources of uh, media, so my parents and my, my family know how effective the methods were here in China, uh, but the rest of the world doesn't really know. Now I've been I've been going out to restaurants and I don't worry. I go into the restaurant with my mask and as I sit down, I might sit down where there's not a lot of people and take off my mask and, and eat in public. And uh, and everyone is out eating in public. The the aunties are out dancing. The kids are out playing basketball. In the morning, you hear all the kids in the grass screaming and playing. Um, the birds are chirping. Everything is back to normal. The reason I do that is a metaphor for life. It's about shifting perspectives and seeing the beauty from a different angle. And that to me kind of reflects upon the current times. We have to look at this from a different angle and not head on, not, don't see it for face value. See it for how we can take advantage of the situation, how we can grow from the situation, how we can remain optimistic and learn from what has happened, learn how we all came together to overcome or contain the virus, and how the world can overcome and contain the virus collaboratively.